Hello Visual Effects people, I'm AK and this is Fluid Ninja for Unreal, a toolkit for creating smoke, fire and stuff. It is built to encourage you to make your own visual effect assets. Which means you don't necessarily need to use third-party tools or buy assets. It's very easy to create. It's about a fluid simulator that you could feed with cascade particles and bitmaps or paint something and bake the whole thing into a sequence of images, a flipbook or to a vector field and instantly generate materials that you could apply to any surface. And Ninja comes with a large sample library that is encouraging you to debug things, to see how you could make things with flow maps, vector fields, with this uh, flip books, technically how to make a realistic or a cartoony smoke, how to create lubed and non-lubed animations. And yeah, this one is for example, it's just eight frames and it's using flow maps combined with GPU particles and we are ending up with something looking complex. Uh, examples for vector fields, so all that. Uh, right now I'm switching uh, to the Ninja Tools level. And here uh, comes a short demonstration. Um, this is Cascade and this simple particle emitter is throwing out cylinders. And I'm going to use this as an input for my fluid simulation. So I'm just switching to Ninja, starting the project, um, picking a preset to fit the color for input. Yep, here is where I picked the particle system that you have seen and here we go. And it's just using it as an input to, to drive the fluid simulation. Randomly picking a few more presets. Turbulent smoke and fire and stuff like that. All kind of fluid, smoky, fiery things. You could do something like a waterfall or something that is more uh, uh, abstract, something for a magical effect or stuff like that. Uh, returning uh, to the possible inputs, this preset is driven by uh, a bitmap, as you could see the Ninja logo. And there are ways to do freehand drawing. And let's see how we could bake things into flipbooks. Yeah, I pick this one and I go to the baking submenu and just press the record button. And it's done. It's 16 frames and let's just save the texture and the materials belonging to that texture. Some advanced materials too. I would be able to export the PNG data, but right now I'm just uh, quitting Fluid Ninja. I'm back in the editor and I'm checking the output folder to see uh, what we have here. Um, this is the 16 frame density map that we have exported. As you could see, there is velocity map belonging to it as well. And here is the, the material utilizing this data. Uh, there are so many parameters that you could adjust to make this uh, thing work in your scene, but we will talk about it later on. Uh, right now, I'm returning to Ninja for a second to demonstrate what other modules we have. Uh, this one is an intro, uh, partly overlapping with the manual. You gotta read it through. And here's a, a configuration model uh, to define export and import uh, formats and folders and color space management, all that basic stuff. Um, here's Ninja Fields, uh, which is basically a tool to create vector field data from velocity maps. Right here, you could see something uh, generated with a fluid simulator and converted into a velocity field. Uh, you could preview these velocity fields in motion and figure out how they would look when would you would use them. Uh, again, just showcasing a few I'm 
just switching through a few of these uh, velocity fields. Right, and here is finally Ninja Flow, uh, which is again uh, using velocity maps to make another texture flow. And uh, have a look at this one. Uh, we have a density map, a velocity map, and it's driving one single colorful texture. So it's basically just three pieces of texture and it's uh, it could be exported uh, as a material and also applied the same way as we have did with the baked data. Well, that's what we have. That is the Ninja Toolkit. And I hope that you, you're gonna like it. <laughs> and later on, we're gonna go into details and figure out how to exactly do things and manage these details. See ya!